Guys, starting a new series called Muscle Confusion. Um, this first one I'm going to talk about bodybuilders who mention that they don't train for strength. Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to stick around at the end of this video. Find out how you can reach me with your questions and or comments. So, the Muscle Confusion series, let's kick it off with the, uh, the bodybuilders, the subject of bodybuilders and strength training. I have profiled and interviewed quite a, bit, quite a number of bodybuilders. I've worked with them and even trained with a lot of them, um, from Mr. North Carolina to Mr. Minnesota. I've trained with Mark Lobliner. Um, I've worked with uh, you know quite a few um, top level power or bodybuilders like Stu Yellen from T Nation, so on and so forth. I've I've trained with them. I've filmed them. I've interviewed them, and. Um, to a T, to a man, almost all of them say, I don't train for strength. I don't train for strength. Now, the muscle confusion, the confusion in all this is when younger guys read these quotes. Some guys will totally take them out of context and think that they shouldn't train for progressive overload. So-and-so says they're not training for strength. Therefore, the beginner or the novice or the, the late beginner whose gains are slow already think, hmm, maybe I need to start training for the pump or maybe I just need to start adding more volume or so on and so forth. So this leads to confusion. What these guys are really saying is that they don't train for one rep max strength. They don't use singles, doubles, and triples. And at the end of the day, they don't care what their maxes are. They don't care how much weight they're moving on the exercise. This doesn't mean that they aren't strong. This doesn't mean that they don't, that they're advocating that you don't need to get strong to get big. Quite the opposite. The guys, <clears throat> excuse me, who have told me this are all stronger than any of us can imagine. Pound for pound, they're, uh, they're as strong or stronger than I am. I've seen Mr. North Carolina Joe Roblo, a natural bodybuilding champion, do dumbbell bench presses with 150 pounds. He matched me rep for rep with these things. In fact, he was probably a little bit stronger. Um, I've seen Stu Yellen from T Nation. I believe he did incline bench presses with 275 pounds for like 10 sets of three reps. Incredible strength. Uh, Doug Miller is on YouTube doing like 405 pound uh, um, or maybe even 455, I don't know what he's doing, for like 30 rep sets. The strength level of these guys is insane. They don't train for strength, but they are incredibly strong. So that's the confusion. These guys will say they don't train for strength, yet they are incredibly strong. But the, the average novice or the average late beginner or beginner will take this information and think, hey, I just need to train for volume. I don't need to worry as much about progressive overload. Nothing could be more from the truth. Nothing could be more from the truth. Focus on progressive overload. If you're natural, you have to get a heck of a lot stronger than you are now. You don't have to focus on one rep max strength. You don't have to focus on sets under five or, or uh, sets with less than five reps. Don't worry about that stuff. Don't worry about how strong you get don't worry about reaching some arbitrary strength standard. An arbitrary strength standard is not your goal in bodybuilding. Your goal is to progress. If you're doing three sets of 10 with 185 pounds on the bench press, you want to try to get those to three sets of 11, or you want to try to get it to 190 pounds with three sets of 10. Focus on progression, not one rep max strength. That's what these guys are telling you. They're telling you to, that they don't worry about <clears throat> how much weight is being moved. They're focusing on progressive overload, getting a lot stronger and challenging their body. So guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, there's a link below to a Q&A. Come on over, ask me any questions you want on strength training, muscle building, diet, nutrition, supplementation, or motivation. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.